Hey guys, let us get more news about Dallas, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Dalvin to Dallas? Could Cowboys patience mean signing Cook in NFL free agency? Most fans of the Dallas Cowboys have been furious over the team's lack of aggressiveness through the first few days of free agency. That doesn't mean they won't be able to sign some important pieces to their 2024 puzzle, though. Would. For instance, Dalvin Cook be low-risk slash high reward, or no reward at all? The Cowboys will say this is all about patience as they look to find the best available players on team-friendly deals. The running back position is a clear example of that. While the top players on the market like Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs, and Austin Ekeler have found homes elsewhere, other names like A.J. Dillon and J.K. Dobbins are still available. Yes, and Cook, the former Vikings All-Pro who looked out of gas last year with the Jets. Could the Cowboys bring any of those players in and get a quality running back on a team-friendly deal? Dallas offensive line being as successful as it has been in recent years should allow any quality runner to have success, though Tyron Smith as a free agent threatens that. Still, whether it's Tony Pollard rushing for over 1,000 yards or Ezekiel Elliott's early rise to stardom, the Cowboys are an organization that can get excellent production out of the position as a whole. It wouldn't cost a lot, either. Barkley and Jacobs received contracts of over $12 million annually. While the kind of money given to Dylan or Cook or Dobbins would likely make their cap hits inconsequential to the Cowboys. That kind of thought process could be the difference between the Cowboys competing for a championship or a flop of a year. Just because they haven't made any major signings yet doesn't mean Dallas will be without a competitive 53-man roster or without a capable back or two. The question is, are Cook, Dylan, and Dobbins quality? Cowboys signed former Chargers LB Eric Kendricks to one-year deal, undisputed. Skip Bayless, Keyshawn Johnson, and Michael Irvin discussed the latest news surrounding the Dallas Cowboys after reports surfaced the Cowboys have agreed to a one-year deal with linebacker Eric Kendricks. The undisputed decide if free agency has been a letdown for the Cowboys. Eric Kendricks, who was recently cut by the Minnesota Vikings and who once upon a time had some negative things to say about Mike Zimmer, just pulled off a shocker. He was once an all-pro under head coach Zimmer. And Zimmer is now in Dallas, where a cost-friendly run-stopping linebacker was needed. It was always obvious, right? Not to Kendricks, it wasn't. Until now. Kendricks is on the backside of his career at age 32 and just found work with the Cowboys, dumping his decision to sign with rival in San Francisco, and now gets to clear up what the player thinks of Zimmer. When Minnesota fired Zimmer in January 2022, Kendricks was asked about his relationship with the boss. His reply included him saying that the team lacked a culture where communication is put at the forefront, it's important to listen up and take each other's opinions into account, said Kendricks. I don't think a fear-based organization is the way to go. Does that sound like somebody who would actively seek out a reunion? That remark didn't necessarily mean Kendricks and Zimmer would have had a problem reuniting, clearly. Kendricks succeeded in Zimmer's defense and was a team captain. There were positives. We put a lot of work in together, and we had a great run, Kendrick said then of him and Zimmer. But, he added, I feel like there's some things left out there as far as our relationship is concerned. I think that's a question you have to ask him. So, now we can. And we will. Zimmer, who wants everyone to know that he's not a jerk, we've known the man for 30 years and it's true, he's not a jerk, is a tough guy. And a demanding guy. And over the course of time, yup, he can rub a player the wrong way. For certain, Kendricks will fit Zimmer's defensive system, which is being installed in Dallas right now. And for certain, Zimmer is a driving force here now. Said Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. He's no bull asterisk asterisk asterisk. He's straight talk. I think everybody needs some of that. 
and Eric Kendricks just decided that what he needs is to not sign with the Niners and to thrive in Dallas under the jerk. Cowboys urged to sign X Raiders WR after recent release. The Dallas Cowboys have been quiet to start free agency, but they can still add WR reinforcements with a former Las Vegas Raiders pro bowler. Hunter Renfro may be down on his luck after being released, but he could get a fresh start in Dallas. Blogging the Boys writer Jess Haney touched on Renfro as an option in a March 13 article. Haney suggests that both sides could benefit from linking up both in the short term and long term. The market will dictate if Hunter Renfro remains within the Cowboys' limited price range, Haney wrote. But if the veteran is more concerned about revitalizing his career than his bank account, the high-volume offense in Dallas would do the trick. Even on just a one-year deal, Renfro might be able to get his stock price back up for next year's free agency and help Dallas along the way. It could make a lot of sense for both parties. Renfro was just on a fairly large contract, so his demands are currently unclear. But if the Cowboys can get him back to his 2021 levels, then adding him would be a fantastic move. After a decorated career at Clemson, the Raiders drafted Renfro in the fifth round of the 2019 NFL Draft. Known for his crisp route running and sure hands, Renfro immediately got off the ground as a possession receiver. According to Pro Football Reference, Renfro totaled 600-plus yards and 11.5 yards per catch in each of his first two seasons. Over half of his receiving yards during that span came after the catch. But in 2021, Renfro exploded for a career season. The now 28-year-old caught 103 passes for 1038 receiving yards and 9 touchdowns. That campaign earned Renfro his first and only Pro Bowl nod. But in 2022 and 2023, things haven't gone as well. Renfro only played 10 games in 2022 due to injury, catching 36 passes for 330 yards and two touchdowns. But even more concerning was that he produced at a worse rate in 2023 despite appearing in all 17 contests. Renfro ended the year with 25 catches, 255 yards, and zero touchdowns. Further, he only played 35% of Las Vegas offensive snaps. Before his release, Renfro was playing on a two-year, $32.3 million deal with the Raiders. According to Spotrac, it included $21 million in guaranteed money. Obviously, Renfro won't be getting a deal like that with the Cowboys or anybody else. In fact, he would be lucky to get a fourth of his $16.2 million average salary. Over the cap estimates that his value for the Raiders in 2023 was just $904,000. That is not an estimation of what Renfro will receive in 2024, but it does give an idea of what kind of deal he might get. Any interested team may look to pay him the veteran minimum with incentives built in. If Dallas can swing a contract like that, there's no reason not to bring Renfro in. With a consistent quarterback, Renfro has produced at a high level. Cowboys QB Dak Prescott has his flaws, but he has never struggled to link up with possession receivers like Renfro. And you, fan, what do you think about the situation of Hunter Renfro? Leave your opinion in the comments.